Welcome back Excel enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of Excel Tips and Tricks. Today, we have a fantastic lineup of amazing tips and tricks that will transform the way you work with Excel. Without any delay let's get started. First trick is if you have a large amount of data in lowercase and you want to convert your data into capital letters. Select an empty cell just parallel to that cell. Right equal sign then upper. Parenthesis open, select that cell with data. Close parenthesis. Press enter. Now double click on the lower right corner of the cell, or drag down that corner according to your need. Here you go. Now copy these all cells and select the data you want in uppercase. Right click and select special paste. Then select values option, click OK. Now you can delete the cells with formula. That's it. Next trick is, if you have data in vertical form and you want to display that data in horizontal form, means want you to convert your columns into rows. For that just select the columns. Then right click on the cell of that row, in which you want your data to be displayed. Select paste special, then select transpose option. And click OK. Here it goes. Your columns data is now in the row form. Next trick is about transferring selected data from one sheet to another. For example, here we want to transfer row number 2, 5 and 12 to another sheet. For that one method is just copy rows, one by one, and then paste a second sheet. That is time consuming, boring, and need too many clicks. Here the trick is, click on the clipboard option from home tab. It will open the sidebar. Now select your desired data row or columns and press Ctrl P. Repeat this step for all the selected data. Now open the second sheet, where you want to paste that data. And click paste all. Here it goes. All the selected data has been transferred. Next tip is, if you want to print an Excel sheet having more than one pages. Like here if we press Ctrl P. It will show the printing option. Here you can see, first page is with headings, but on next page you can see there is no heading. So here the trick is, to print the all pages of a sheet, and each of them have headings. For that go back and from page layout tab, click on print titles. This will open page setup window. Now in, rows to repeat at top, select the row. And click OK. That's it. Now when you will print this sheet. This selected row will be at the top of every page of your Excel sheet. If you have data for few days, and you want to write date for every row. It is very easy to produce this format if it like for 15 days or a month. Just write the first date then select the lower right edge of that cell and drag down, according to your requirement. But if there is a data for many months or for many days. For example for 78 days or for 500 days. You will first convert them into months after that you will drag and scroll. But there is an easy trick for that. Just write one in adjacent column. Then click fill, drop down from home tab. And select series option. In pop-up window select column option, and write the number of days you want. Then click OK. Now select date cell and double click on the lower right edge of that cell. Here it goes. Dates will be automatically filled equal to the number of days you wanted. If we want to change the position of column in a table. Normally what people do is, they will select the whole column, and right click then they will click the insert option. This will insert an empty column at that position. Then copy, or cut the column and paste at that position. Then delete that empty column from where data has been transferred. Too many click. But there is an easy way. Just select the column and hover the mouse cursor, at the edge where cursor will change into direction telling shape. Now click mouse left button, press shift key and move the cursor where you want to place the column, and just drop there. Easy, no copy cut and paste. You can move more than one columns or rows. Just select then all at once and repeat the same steps. Next tip is, if you have an Excel sheet, when you press Ctrl plus P to print that sheet. After that you will see a dotted line, breaking the pages. In order to remove that line, click on the file from top left of the screen. Then select option from left menu. Then click advance and scroll down. 
From display options for this worksheet uncheck the show page break option. Click OK. This will remove the dotted line from Excel worksheet. And if you want to add that dotted line just repeat the steps, at the end just check that option. If you have a data table and want an empty row between every two data rows, instead of inserting one by one, just write the one, at the end of that table. Double click on lower right corner, or drag that corner. This will generate numbering. Now copy and paste all those numbers in same column just below those numbers. Now select the top row of that table and press. Control, Shift and L this will enable the filter option for that table. Now click the filter of the numbering column. And select sort smallest to largest option. Here you can see empty rows in that table. Now you can manage the finishing of the table by borders and remove the column with numbers. By selecting that column and pressing Control and negative sign button from keyboard. And can remove filter option by selecting the first row and again pressing the Control, Shift and L. If you want the sum of values of a column, normally for that there is a formula. Type equal sign in last cell of that column, then type sum. Parenthesis open, then select all the cell for sum. Close parenthesis, hit enter. And do this for all other columns. But here is the short trick. Just select them all, and press Alt and equal key. You can also select all the columns at once and press the same shortcut key. It will generate the same results for all columns. This also works for rows. For that select a row but in this case you have to select the next empty cell of that row. Again you can do the number of rows of a table. Select them all and also select the empty column right next to the table and press same keys. Means Alt and equal key. If you want the sum of columns and rows at the same time, just select the whole table and one empty row and column and press same key. Here you go. Next trick is about adding some text with numbers. Like here want to write the number of pieces or packets sold per day of different categories at a store. For that one method is to write pieces with each quantity manually. That is totally wrong. Because when you write text manually, you cannot add the value of those cells. The trick here is to select the all cells right click and select cell format option. The from numbering tab select customs option. Here type hash sign, space inverted comma, and between them type pieces. Here hash sign represent the number or value of that cell. Click OK, here you can see pieces has been added as a suffix. One benefit for this method is that you can sum the quantities. If you type pieces manually, you can't sum that column or row. Now if you have some values equal to 1. For that you have to write PC instead of pieces. For that select the cell again right click and select cell format. Click on custom. And type, square bracket start equals to 1 square bracket close, means, if the value of the cell is 1 then after that value, show piece, that is again between inverted commas. Then semicolon hash sign that represent rest of the values. Inverted commas and between them pieces. Click OK. Now for value 1, it will show piece and values higher than 1 it will show pieces. Next tip is, if there are some empty cells, and you want to fill them, normally if the data is small, we can fill them one by one. But in case if the data is huge, just select whole area that contains blank cells. Then press F5, then go to special select the blanks option. Click OK. Now type anything you want to. Like here I will type A for absent students. Now if we press enter, it will only fill the current cell. But we want to fill all the empty cells. So we will press Ctrl and enter. That's it. All the blank cell will be filled. You can also adjust the text size, color. Or highlight the all blank cells at once using the same method. Next trick is leaving a message for other people or a message as a reminder. For that select the cells in which you want message to be shown. Then go to data validation in data tab. Then go to input message tab. Write title or heading for message. Then write the message in below section click OK. Now here you can see, if anyone want to write something in this cell, 
this message will be shown as a reminder or instruction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any specific Excel topics or questions you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments section below. We value your feedback and are here to support your Excel journey.